when they're surrounded by machinery and others like to work when they're in gorgeous scenery and others like to sit around a great big hammock but here's the kind of surrounding that i look the best in Take a dance and I gotta consider it. When I go to a dance, I guess that I should be thrilled. As soon as I walk in like that, my dance book is filled. I dance every dance and I seem to get along. But I really don't enjoy it, cause there's always something wrong. Babaloo, babaloo, babaloo. You know, folks, that don't mean nothing. I got a haircut this morning, I promised my babaloo I mentioned his name. <laughs> Down the rump, bump is a marvelous step. That seems the free. I dance so well, there's no one around who can dance the do. tool of a beautiful gal. <laughs> you know, up in Greenland, the Eskimos, they don't kiss with the lips like we do. You know, when they kiss, they rub noses like this. <laughs> I'd be the clock gable of that joint. <laughs> activity for a man carrying this much weight around him. <laughs> Girls, let me tell you something. There's a new dance going strong in South Chicago. It was taught to me by Ubrey Argo. You start a shuffle down the street. Bow to everyone you meet. Now you take three steps. Then you climb. Follow everybody how they pass you by. Raise your elbows high. Raise your eyes to the sky. Now everybody throw your arms in the air. In Umbriago's language, that means I don't care. It's going strong. It's such a cop. That's the dance called the Umbriago. You know, Umbriago invited me up to his farm. You know, he raises bees. And when we got there, he took me straight to the beehive. Then he said, Jimmy, stick your nose inside, see how they work. <laughs> well, I stuck my nose inside the beehive, and what happened? One of the bees looked up and shouted, run for the hills, boys, it's an anteater. <laughs> When Umbriago walks down the street, everybody yells, Hey, Umbriago, get your daughter to do the down there. Uh, Jimmy, 
Great show tonight, Jimmy. Great, great. Yeah, ready. Uh, here, give this hat to the property man, Susie. Get me my regular hat and coat. Well, Eddie, yes. I think I'll go out and get a little fresh air before the next show and wake up my red corpsuckles. <laughs> I know I never should have tried that diet in a ladies' home journal. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Durante. I gave you the wrong hat and coat. Thank goodness. <laughs> You know something, Eddie? I can't understand it. She's usually efficient, dependable, and thoroughly unreliable. <laughs> oh, dear. Did I give you the wrong coat again? I hope so, otherwise I've got the wrong body. <laughs> Susie, what's the matter with you tonight? You're so nervous. I'm sorry, Mr. Durante. It's just that, well... I'm getting married next Tuesday. Ah, oh, no wonder. Congratulations. Who's the lucky fella? Oh, you wouldn't know him. He's a plumber. A plumber? That's wonderful. You'll not only have a nice husband around the house, but also good drainage. <laughs> Susie. Susie, you don't seem happy about it. What's the matter? Don't you like plumbers? Oh, it's not that. It's just that, well, I've always dreamed about a big wedding. And my folks just can't afford it. Can't afford it? May I have my what? coat, please? Oh, oh. surely. <laughs> What's wrong with her? She gave out the wrong coat again. No, she didn't. I always wear mink. <laughs> I hope you don't start a vogue. I only look good in Persian lamb. <laughs> Susie, if you can't afford a big wedding, what are you going to do about it? Well, we'll just have to get married down at City Hall. City Hall? You mean the place where they give out the dog licenses? Yes. Susie, you can't get married in a place like that. You're liable to wind up with seven copper spaniels as bridesmaids. <laughs> I do. Say, Jimmy, we got to do something about this. You know, Susie's been with us a long, long time. You're right, Eddie. Yep. We should do something about it, but why? Oh, I got it. Susie, you're gonna have your big wedding on Tuesday. You're gonna get married at my church, and afterwards, I'll throw a big party for you right here in the club. Do you mean it? Oh, Jimmy, you're an angel! Oh. Susie, Susie, please, please, what will your fiancé think? You kissing me? You kissing me while he's lying somewhere under a garbage disposal thinking only of you. Jimmy, I, I don't know how to thank you. Don't even try. Tomorrow I'm going to start making all the arrangements and you and your plumber will have the fanciest wedding of the year. Oh, Jimmy. And we'll get a big cake to fit the occasion. Mm -hmm. Seven layers. And on top, the bride and groom standing under an archway of cross plunges. <laughs> don't worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing. Girls! Girls! All right, fellas, lay the packages right down there. Over here, over here. That's beautiful. What you got there, Jimmy? I got everything for the reception tomorrow night. Wait till you look at this wedding cake. Oh! What a beautiful Jimmy. Uh, but Jimmy, what are those two women doing on each side of the bride and groom? The mother-in-laws, they might as well get used to them from the start. <laughs> <laughs> I got everything we need for the wedding. The wedding dress, the cake, and the flowers are coming. Gee, this is sure nice of you, Jimmy, doing all of this for Susie. Oh, it's my pleasure. You know, all this wedding stuff, it uh, kind of puts me in a... kind of puts me in a neurologic mood. <laughs> You know, it brings back memories. And, uh, you know, once, I once considered uh, getting my feet wet in the sea of matrimony. Well, why didn't you, Jimmy? Well, there was a girl I was going to marry, but her father hated me. About a year later, I met another girl, and her father hated me. So finally, I met a girl whose father loved me. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. What's so wonderful? The girl hated me. <laughs> and that's the way it was. Years rolled on, and here I am, still a spinster. <laughs> but Jimmy, it's 
never too late. No? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. Well, in that case, how about having dinner with me tonight? Gee, I'm sorry, Jimmy, but I'm busy tonight. In fact, we're almost late now. Bye, Jimmy. Oh, bye. Dixie? I'd love to, Jimmy, but I'm having a little party tonight with the kids from the show. Oh, oh. Um, but, Jimmy, if you're going to be all alone, you're welcome to come. Me alone? <laughs> I got a million places I can go. Oh, well, gee, I'm sure sorry you can't make it, but maybe some other time, huh? Sure. Bye, Jimmy. Bye. I got a million places I can go. <laughs> I'll do the same thing tonight that I do every other night. Go home, turn on the TV set, and watch the late, 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 late show. <laughs> well, it wasn't always like this. always this way. When I was a young man caught in the girls, I played me a waiting game. If a maid refused me with toss and curls, I let the old bird take a couple of words while I plied her with tears and lure of pearls. And as time came around, she came my way. And as time came around, she came. Oh, it's a long, long while. From May to December, days grow short when you reach September when the autumn weather turns the leaves to flame one hasn't got time for the waiting down to a precious few September, November. Oh, these few precious days I'll spend with you. story of my life. Always a bridesmaid, but never a bride. <laughs> Susie, I can't get over it. You're actually betrothed. Oh. <laughs> we don't know how to thank you for all you've done. Don't thank me. This is your wedding night. Let's all have some fun. <laughs> Gracious 
wonder where they went. <laughs> well, I don't blame them. You know something, Eddie? Why? They must have had the feeling they wanted to be alone. What's that, Jimmy? You sing a song and let me play piano for you. Oh, wait a minute, Jimmy. Can you play as good as Jose I Turby? I'm even better. Can Jose I Turby play this? Or this? Or this? Or this? this? Uh, Jose, make way for Jose. <laughs>
Say, say, that was a great party we gave for Susie tonight, huh? Yeah, but look what it cost you, Jim. $482. Oh, I didn't mind that. Huh? But there's a little item here that surely irritates me. What's that? The six and a half bucks I paid for that wedding bouquet. <laughs> I didn't even get it. You know, I figured as much, Jimmy. So here. <laughs> hey, the wedding bouquet. Yeah. I did the mambo with that fat gal, and I got her to shake it loose. Come <laughs> on, Jim. Thanks, Betty. Thanks. I'll be back next week. And good night, folks. And good night, Mrs. Calabash, wherever you are.